Uh, I think first 45 minutes we didn't concede nothing. We controlled the game, we create chances, and the performance was very good because you can get frustrated against this kind of team. But as I said, compared to Brighton game, it's a completely different kind of game. So you need to learn how to play. I think first half was top. Then second half we conceded the goal and probably, you know, become a little bit more up and down, but then after we, we score immediately and again, I think we were in control. Probably the red card, uh, some, most of the time we think that 11 against 10 is more easy, but uh, probably today was even more difficult because they were with the line of five, with more players there inside the box defending, and then you, you risk, you take the risk to lose some ball and you consider counter-attacker or set pieces that they, they are very, very strong. But overall, the performance I think was was very good, and I think we deserve to win the game. No, first of all, fortunately, I was in my area, so I was where I have to be, and these kind of things can can happen. And then in terms of emotion or these kind of things, I think the team the team is, is is fighting all together and I don't think some of them will use the will use the head. I think they were all of them in the game. So I was happy with that. Matt. On the discipline, you've got two players now suspended for the Liverpool match. First club to have any players get to five yellow cards. Um, you're probably going to get a fine again because six or more bookings, which you had against Bournemouth. Mm -hmm. Are they going a bit too far? Is what Say again, I, about six. I, I didn't. If I, you get six or more bookings in one game, yeah. the club gets a fine, twenty-five thousand yeah. pounds. Yeah. You've already had one after Bournemouth. Yeah. So you're going to get another one after today. I'm not going to pay, so it's not my problem. <laughs> I'm interested to know who does bad. <laughs> but is there a discipline issue with these sort of young players? Is it no, no, I said many times, probably it's something that also we need to improve. But overall, I like the team, the way they are fighting. I like the team, the way they are becoming team in these kind of things. So I don't see any, any problem about that. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, this. But now we have, you know, international break. We have time to see how we can organize. The good thing is that uh, they are all all ready, and this is important. And hi, Andrew. Just just following on from Matt's point here. I mean, it's one thing for the players that were directly involved to become involved in the, the pushing and the shoving, but we did see. I mean, Nicholas Jackson. I think he'd been taken off and actually came from the dugout to get himself involved. That's a little bit different. Uh, no, because in that moment, I think not only Nicolas was inside the pitch. If you have looked, probably more players from the bench, they were inside the pitch. So I don't see that kind of a team, that kind of things. Then if you ask me if I prefer when something like that happen, a player from outside involved or not, I like the spirit of the team. I like the spirit of our team, so I don't see any problem. Nicolas put his hand in someone's face, he could get in trouble. Yeah, but also someone tried to kick me there. So okay. depend. No, there when when I was uh, f fell fell down. Right. Uh, also, I was there like this, and someone arrived. So for sure, there is there are some there are things that we can control and we can do better. For sure, no doubt. And probably this is one of the things. But if you ask me about the team spirit, the way they are fighting together, the way they are doing things together, I'm very happy about that. Sorry, just one quick one. Maybe ask when Cucurella came into you. Was pushed by Williams. Can you just talk us through it? You were standing up one moment, and the next you were on the ground. You're not hurt. You were a bit surprised, a bit taken aback. You seem, you seem to take it quite well. Well, yeah, I, I, I was, uh, I was, I was just there. As I said, I was in my area. This is the most important thing because if these kind of things happen when you are not in your area, probably people can say, eh, but he was not where he has to be. At least I was in my area, and as I said, can happen. It's not the first time. It can happen. No, no, I'm okay, thank you. Liam. Mm. No, I think they are, they are both okay. Now they were inside. 
but we'll see. But I don't think there is any problem with them. David, sorry, sorry. Um, fourteen points after seven games. Are you happy with the level of your team so far? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, you know if we when we start the season, uh, we we s s some of us or some of us or in general you think you know that uh, the second international break you are fourth. And the team is playing in the way we are playing, learning to play different kind of games. For sure, it's something that uh, uh, I'm, I'm very happy. Then, yeah, seven games, 14 points, it's important. But uh, for me, it's also important to see the way we get 14 points. And it has been in different way, different kind of games, home, away. So, team like today that they sit back, it's difficult. Team that they try to be aggressive, you have to use different weapons. But I think. In general, we are we are very happy where we are, but for sure we can do many things better. Roman, hi Angelo. I I know you just said you are happy with everything, but you've got three wins on the road, but one win at home from four games. Why? And I saw you encouraging the fans. Can the support here be better? Oh, the fans today, I think they were unbelievable. The crowd uh, was just uh, I think in that moment because I felt that in that moment we need a little bit more. But the way the fans, they have been until today, to be honest, has been top. And then the reason why we won game away at home, as I said many times, I prefer to analyze the game. I think today uh, we did everything to win the game, you know, and we deserve to win the game. And sometimes you don't score. Again, against Palace, more or less was similar than today. So I think uh, there is not a reason why in behind, in this moment, there is why we won outside, away, and we didn't win many games at home, but uh, also we played four games in a row at home now. We won three, we drew today, so it's a it's good point. Tom? Yeah, Jaden was very good, Noni was very good, then when Misha was inside also was very good. Uh, so. Happy with all of, the, all of them. Jadon, as I said many times, is is doing exactly what we expected from him. So, once again, he was good today. And we'll finish with Matt. Uh, just an Austin said about the Chelsea squad size. Is this the one benefit of having seven players? Is that you can still fight 104 minutes into a game after a European tie and still have that enough players with enough uh, I think we have 25 players, first team players, since. Uh, the Premier League start. I think all the clubs they have around that number. So I don't think it's something just for us. The way we try to do the things is to try to share minutes with all of them. And the reason why is because they deserve it. Uh, the one that they played the other day in conference, they did well, and probably today they deserve again. But uh, there was another 11 uh, that uh, did a fantastic job against Brighton. So we just try to use all of them in the best way. And also, you know, for, for sure, when you have injury or red card, like now the second games that we don't know Wes and Mark, probably we 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 are going to use some of the guys that uh, today they were not uh, in the first eleven. Super. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.